So now we're going to talk a little bit about chemoreceptors. And chemoreceptors do kind of two things in the terms of respiratory. Okay, so they first notice the PaCO2, which is the major stimulator of the respiratory drive. So CO2 goes into the blood-brain barrier, right, and then it forms hydrogen ions. So CO2 goes to hydrogen ion um, with reaction with water to form hydrogen ion and bicarb. And that lowers the pH. And then your central respiratory system recognizes that pH, and then you get an increase in respiration. So two other things that affect the respiration are arterial PaO2 and also arterial pH, um, but to a lesser degree. So you have basically these two things here. You have um, the aortic body and the keratin body, okay? And those sense arterial pH and also PaO2, okay? Um, and here's your medullary respiratory, respiratory um, center, okay? So these are stimulated by um, low PO2. And if PO2 goes down, um, then they're stimulated even more, even um, even more. And but if PO2 goes up, they're stimulated even less. So in things like COPD, you get a prolonged lowering of the oxygen and a raising of the carbon dioxide. Okay. Um, so because of this, your system becomes uh, kind of suited to this raise in carbon dioxide, um, and therefore the only thing driving the respiration becomes the lowered oxygen. Okay. Um, so the peripheral chemoreceptors, the ones we were just talking about, the ones in the arch and the ones in the keratin bodies, um, these stimulate the central respiratory system um, because of that um, decrease in oxygen. Okay? And the biggest thing here is that when you kind of reverse it by giving them supplemental oxygen, then this is knocked out and when this is already knocked out. So basically the respiratory, the respiratory uh, rate stops um, because they've lost this because of just increased carbon dioxide and in increased carbon dioxide indefinitely. So the only thing driving the system is the O2. And then if you knock this out, then there's nothing driving the respiration.